Hello everyone, this is Estoki here. Welcome to another Minecraft video. Today I am doing another... Whoops. Excellent. Yeah, I am doing another... Minecraft sort of mod pack review. Basically, what I have worked out is that the... The pack that I was putting together, while it's a good pack, it was missing some of the things that are included oops that was the wrong button yeah it's missing some of the things that were included in the latest Technics pack or at least the Technics pack that will be coming out very soon which will be version 6 they're still going through some testing of their new launcher page their new launcher page what it will allow you to do is it will allow you to basically have Minecraft Vanilla installed and the Technics pack and the Yogbox and the Tekkit pack all installed at once on the same system by using a I guess a different sort of launcher setup and the idea is that it will also enable you to be able to have uh, sort of on the fly updates given to you stupid cows are so noisy given to you by the Technic pack team so that they can make sure that you have the latest version and they can also handle all the block IDs and configs and everything for you which will which will really just make it great so I've spent probably the last hour now I know some of you have watched my putting together my own mod pack video and saw that that took about an hour uh, that was because I was going pretty slow generally it takes me on the order of you know 15 minutes to do a reinstall of a mod pack like that if I you know have an update and need to do it from scratch this time, yeah, reinstalling the Technic pack, or at least what will be the Technic pack, because I went to their website and I looked at their block IDs, and I installed all of their mods. So you can see, you can see there's some gap here, which is all of the monster spawners that are needed for some of the mods, and you can see some of them have, well, they don't have any sprites, and that causes an issue because the system doesn't know how to deal with that, doesn't know how to display it, so it causes some glitches with not enough items. This is just a brand new world, so there's still some still some things spawning in. Uh, so I have installed Millinaire again, as you can see there's a Millinaire village. I've updated to the latest version 2.2, .2, which is more compatible with Forge, which is a good thing. Um, I've installed basically every mod I had last time, plus I've installed a couple of extras. So I don't know if you'll even be able to see it. Obviously the block IDs have changed a lot because I did the best that I could to match up all of the block IDs with the block IDs that the Technipack is going to use. So there's compass block. But what I really wanted to do is just get a bit of an idea of what it's going to be like to play the new Technic Pack before it's released so I can see what it's like and have a bit of an idea. So we can see we've got all the, the normal blocks and bricks and things and you can see there's a couple of extra blocks that are part of uh, Buildcraft which weren't part of Buildcraft last time and that's because I've upgraded to version 3 of Buildcraft what I've also done is I've added in instead of what's that I can hear him there you go that's a flying viz crystal if you kill that it will drop a viz crystal but it will attack you and try and kill you if you try and kill it so obviously they're best shot with a bow from a good distance but that chimey sound is really annoying. Uh, so, yeah, back to what I was saying. I have not installed Minecraft Factory this time. I have instead installed Forestry because that's basically what is going to be coming with the next Technic Pack and I wanted to have an idea of what it was like. I have installed, I know it's here somewhere. Uh... there we go the ender chest mod and what that does is it allows you to place a chest and set a color combination on top of the chest and then when you do that and put another chest down I don't totally know how to set the color combination yet I still need to learn that but then if I put another chest here I don't know if this works just the way I've got it set up but hopefully because they're all white I put a piece of ore in that one if I come back up to this one it will allow me to have those inventories linked. Ta-da! Linked. So it's not two items, one in each chest, it's one item and the chests share them. 
So the idea is that I don't actually know how to craft one of these. Um, some blaze rods, some chests, ender pearl. Okay, so they're not easy to craft, but basically what they allow you to do is say you had a couple of different bases. You can set up one ender chest in each base and then share your important items, like maybe your diamonds or your favorite tools or whatever. So that's really cool. Uh, there's also powered furnace, grinder, fusion generator, energy store, and energy director. There seems to be an issue with the textures for these items. I don't know, they just don't display in your hotbar. So there you go. So they don't also have a damage, but that, that's not a big problem. So yeah, I've, I've got those as well, which are part of uh, more machines or something like that for buildcraft. And somewhere in here that I can't seem to see at the moment. Oh yeah, there we go. There's wireless redstone, which allows you to have transmitters and receivers. So you set a frequency, then you come over here and you set a receiver, and then you set a frequency on your receiver. And if I give myself some redstone and a torch, you should be able to see that that sends, that receives, which should make you know creating complicated redstone circuits really cool. It's also got installed, uh, I mentioned the more machines, but it's also got uh, somewhere in here, there's something along the lines of more pipes or something like that that adds a whole lot of new pipes. So there you go, we've got teleport pipes, waterproof pipes, uh, and then a whole lot of different transport pipes and things. And so yeah, manure and fertilizer and appetite are added as part of the new mod pack and so are biomass and all the different cans. You've got motors that come with, and all these different motors that come with the new version of Railcraft. Uh, you've got bees that come with the forestry mod so you can harvest bees. So you've got so much stuff um, I don't even know, I don't even really know where to begin in, in showing you all the different things that it has in it, but just know that it has lots of stuff. So, ooh, let's see if I can get this guy while he's close. Ah. If in doubt, and you're not above cheating, oh, I'll better get myself some arrows, otherwise these things are a bit useless. Did I just, that's better. Now where'd you go? Twang, haha, -ha, cop that. Twang. Ooh, wow. So he has just dropped an electrified viz crystal. Now that is super, super cool. And actually it's quite difficult to get because you can't actually craft those crystals. But what they are used in making and you'll just have to give me a couple of seconds while I spawn some things. Ah, uh, this is the problem that I was having with Millionaire previously. Sometimes if you type uh, a letter that's responsible for Millionaire, like M or V, it doesn't actually register that you've typed it, particularly the M, it brings up that screen. So that's a gigantic pain in the in the backside and is part of the reason why I wasn't going to install it in my last mod pack. I believe the configuration file for Millionaire allows you to change that, so I'm really hoping that that's the case. Um, ah, seriously? Yeah, so this is this is the issue that I was having with Millionaire previously. And I don't actually know what's going on there. Um, thankfully I can find the item anyway. I'm going to try and work out what is causing that and I'm going to fix it because that's a that is a real pain. Because I use this mod quite a lot to look up different things. And, and if every time you try and hit an M, an F or an E, you get something crazy happening, it is just going to drive me crazy. I think the solution is to remap all of the millionaire keys to things like left square bracket and right square bracket and things like that, things that you won't type in, in general searching. Um, there we go. So, 
basically what we can do is if we create this thing which you build with an electrified viz crystal and a combustion engine and a few other cool things and then we throw some cable down you can see that uh, my MFE is not charged and now if I throw some diamonds in this baby you can see that the viz flows into the generator you can see the super energy flowing out of it and voila power you basically have as long as you have viz you basically have an unlimited energy source through this generator now I think that is just super cool particularly because there are ways and I intend to show those once I start my let's play and I'll be honest I can't take credit for it I did see them by watching MSA 545's videos but there are ways that you can make what is essentially an unlimited viz supply using some clever components and I'll show you that in my let's play but yeah basically once you can build one of these things which does take quite a lot of effort I might add but then you basically end up with an unlimited power source that while it doesn't provide a huge amount of power it does provide power endlessly so you can use it to keep make sure while you're away not doing anything that all your machines stay fully topped up and fully charged so that's cool so other than that um, I think you've probably seen most of the mods already it is worth noting that I mentioned in my last video there was some bugs with not enough items spawning in things from industrial craft but you can see now that diamond drill has a full green bar underneath it and here diamond drill has no bar so that correctly means that if I spawn the both of them in it now actually so you can see here that's really slow bam 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 that's super fast so it does actually recognize now how much charge is in your drill and how much charge are in your batteries and other items like that so not a really big deal for people who want to play legit like I do but if you're playing around and you want to demonstrate some different things using not enough items that is definitely a huge plus now it's not actually listed on the web page or on the downloads as being a different version it's the same numbered file but it's a very very slight revision to the original which he's issued at version 111b I believe to just correct that so that's a huge plus in my in my books while I'm just stuffing around and playing around like this and I'm sure for all those people out there who are more interested in playing than playing legitimately it'll be a huge bonus for you guys too yeah I really can't think of anything else that might be in now that I might have missed previously obviously other than the fact that there's a huge amount of content that's new that I didn't look at previously to do with the new mods that I've installed and the fact that I now have Buildcraft 3 installed instead of Buildcraft 2 otherwise everything's much the same so thanks very much for watching in my next video I intend to well I guess I've pretty much decided that I'm going to do a let's play of the Technic pack when it comes out and I'm hoping that I can get started on the day that it comes out I'm anxiously waiting but what I'm going to do until then is I'm going to do a few not tutorial isn't the right word but I'm going to do a few videos where I give a bit of a demonstration on some of the things that you can do with all of these mods installed together in the Technic Pack. So, you know, I'm not going to show you how to build a quarry or show you how to set up a good quarry system because that's just build craft. You know, I'm not going to show you how to build a macerator or anything like that because that's just industrial craft. What I'm going to try and do is show you more things like this where you can take advantage of linking the mods together. So you can see you know, magic to electrical energy, things like that. Things where one mod links into another mod and, and gives you something that's really cool that you might not know about if you just play the other mods by themselves. So hopefully in the next video I'll have the millionaire keys worked out and things will be a little bit simpler. Thanks very much for watching. Hey Stocky out.